Bottom of the bin, take 47. What have I gotten myself into? I'm October, and welcome to Games That Time Forgot. Today we're looking at THQ's 2007 offering, Conan. This attempt to bring Conan to the consoles has him squaring off against the evilly goateed Draven, an ancient wizard who's been imprisoned for millennia until Conan hit him with a sword. And he plans to take over magic by cursing Conan's armor. And then giving that armor to bosses. I don't know either, folks. Conan is a brawler, first and only. Do you really need more than a paper-thin plot to sustain a game whose premise is based on I like to hit things with other things until those first things explode or stop? Surprisingly, yes. I mean, Conan, and his Conan. giant sword seen here awkwardly no placed, man. is only backed up by Akana on this trip. And even with them going so far as the Cave of Wonders from Disney's Aladdin, it all feels flat with no compulsion driving you forward. I don't care. And that's the big problem. And that lack of plot is something that the gore galore of the executions cannot possibly sustain. Granted, it's interesting to see the ropes of intestine, various dismemberments, and all that other fun stuff. But ultimately, that's all you're going to be doing. And once you've found all the embarrassing ways to dispatch your foes, really humiliating them just becomes more bothersome than anything else. It's nowhere near as challenging as the combos, granted. But the combos end up just becoming tedious, till finally you do just want to stamp guys' spines out their chest. And then there are the puzzles. This is one of them. I mean, this... This actually counts as a puzzle. Well, while this is going on, let's talk about the artwork. Now, no doubt, the backdrops are absolutely beautiful. And I really do end up digging the Frank Frazetta-inspired art style during the storytelling moments. But when you get up close, it's still pixely and weird. And you'd think that having a standard fixed camera location would benefit. But unfortunately, it ends up just sitting there, showing off all the flaws. Which, in most games, I could find some silver lining to. Here, unfortunately, I can't. Especially once platforming is introduced midway through the second level. That's when things go a bit haywire for me. The boss fights, once you get there after dying half a dozen times because the controller decides to screw you over and not because you secretly suck at these sorts of things, are fairly generic. Bash them until you get a QTE prompt, perform the QTE prompt, bash them again. That's it. Congratulations, you've killed a dragon. I understand that people want to argue that this is just pure escapism in the same way that Conan the Barbarian is escapism. Like but Conan the Barbarian was escapism in a very particular way. It was smart. It was cunning. It was very much like the character depicted in Robert E. Howard's stories. This game is more so akin to the media surrounding Conan than the stories itself. And Nihilus Software and even THQ, who I love, were wrong to say that this was really about bringing the works of Robert E. Howard to life. This is nothing more than two-dimensional, lack of storytelling, I like hitting things with other things, gameplay. Which is a damn shame. There was a lot of potential here. And again, it all got squandered. When released in 2007, most major publications gave Conan between a 6 and a 7 out of 10, which was fine for its time, but this God of War clone has not aged well and now ranks solidly at a 4.5. This has been October. Thanks for watching, folks.